uh, well, it's a pleasure uh, for me uh, from Buenos Aires, Argentina, to say hello to everyone who is uh, on the other side. And it, it's about uh, Biosonic Corridors. Um, uh, we have four, uh, in, in, uh, one of them is called um, Biosonic Blackwater Tunnel Corridor, uh, which is in San Juan. Um, and it goes from uh, Buenos Aires port to Coquimbo, Chile. Another one is a um, corridor, uh, Biosenic corridor from La Rioja to, and it goes from Catamarca to Atacama. And the third one is uh, the, Bios the Biosenic corridor um, Aconcagua, which is located in Mendoza. Mendoza, the land of wines. And all of you know uh, Malbec, Argentinian Malbec. So um, the third one is the Biosenic Corridor Aconcagua, located in Mendoza, and it goes uh, to Valparaíso, Chile. And the fourth is um, Baca Muerta Biosenic Corridor, which is located in Neuquén, and it goes from Bahia Blanca to, um, to Chile, Talcahuano. Interesting to understand uh, how these four um, corridors could change the actual situation uh, of Argentina and we will understand uh, that we need to work with with Chile as one team. The national and regional strategic projects developed in the last deca decade promote a vertical reordering of the territory uh, driven by global actors, I mean by China, India, uh, Russia, uh, Argentina in uh, international trade, using corridors as a circulation uh, strategy is, is taken or should be taken as a priority. Um, if a world map of gross product were drawn, it could be seen that uh, this uh, maritime line is closely following the, the area with the highest gross product and population in the world. From these key ports uh, that concentrate uh, merchandise for transport, called hubs, uh, distribution networks are, are organized inland, uh, which is already under develop development uh, here in South, South America uh, and in the South Pacific area. Uh, one of the potential markets uh, for this medium-term project is Asia, and within that continent, as everybody knows, uh, China in particular. The Asian giant uh, has its energy matrix 50% uh, uh, linked to coal generation. In the best scenario for the next decade, gas will be a, f a fuel for the transition to renewable energy. And when we talk about which route is better for the largest, largest, largest market in the world, China, uh, we ask ourselves which route is better, the Atlantic or the Pacific? And we must take into account uh, that there is a ge geographical distance and an economic uh, distance. Uh, in, and, and there, logistical costs enter. Well, this phenomena of increasing globalization be with, be, be, begin with scientific knowledge and its effects the technological insertion of planetary modes, uh, the imposition of uh, on economic realities like uh, today that becomes uh, that become world. Uh, all this originates the, the awakening within the national cultures uh, before these new situations. Uh, so we can affirm that culture is in a con in a constant re a correlation with uh, the national senses of belonging. Now culture has wanted to represent us as a static, which does not transform over the time. Um, I mean, the, the new forms of planetary dominance will not be able to annul the, the differences, uh, the cultural particularism uh, to achieve the, the hegemony of uh, the universal side world. The cultural identity can, cannot be eliminated by any process. Uh, in the world, like these ones. Uh, since according to geography, society identity is something of the different societies of the world. Reason why we can conclude that globalization 
does, doesn't imply universality, nor cultural equity, reason why the universal that doesn't eliminate uh, the local. So um, uh, just I would like to summarize uh, all we were talking about uh, in, 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 in these panels, uh, especially mine, uh, it was particularly uh, dedicated to uh, integration. Thank you a lot and thank you to all our people uh, around the world.